Like, I personally think that that was more entertaining than anything we've put on air. DJ came on to the rescue, yeah. Oh, and do you like, uh, you like me leaving my Twitch on? Yes, I do too. Hello, everybody! Welcome to what could very well be last or the second to last episode of this campaign, Voices of the Air. But this is comedy and D! Uh, I think Simon froze. <laughs> Mukbang of the day is yogurt and chia seeds. <laughs> yeah. Simon, Simon, Simon saw Medusa. <laughs> yeah. It, that doesn't mean my HBO hair Max. in the morning. Mm -hmm. <laughs> All right. Welcome back. Hi, everyone. So, we started this campaign about 10 years ago. Is that right? Yeah. Roughly. Feels like it. I feel like that's, we've been through a lot. That's horse years. They're like horse cool. cigarettes. <laughs> I think the cool thing is we started year. ten horse cigarettes ago. Um, my name's Simon. I'll be the DM. We have about two more episodes left of this. Uh, wow! Players just completely want to walk around and kill an entire city full of innocent people, which I'm not suggesting. But mission accepted. Or you can save the fluffy. Tonight, we have <laughs> our fabulous players. And thank you for joining us, everyone. Um, great to see a lot of you. Uh, first, Mr. Kevin O'Shea. How are you? Uh, hey. I thought Casey oh, was good. frozen. Yeah. <laughs> he looks Everybody's frozen. a little frozen, you know? Just gotta let yeah. it go. I play... Regington Exeter, Inspector, Freelance, uh, Rogue, Soul Knife, um, you know, pretty upset about how his actions led to the death of an entire kobold kingdom, but, you know, he's getting by. Doing what, you know, he's thinking about going to therapy, he hasn't yet, but he's been pretty busy, but he's thinking about it, and I think that's the first step. Oh. And that's that that wasn't... dream he had last week. Oh, sorry. That wasn't <laughs> you that got everyone killed. That was the DM. That was definitely a... But hey, you have a, a lot of exiled uh, kobolds on the way back to the kingdom. Who knows? Or they might all be dead, too. Who knows? Casey Muller. Yes? Oh, yes. Uh, yes, I am Casey. I am playing Selubsuni Alamilt, a high elf cleric of the Peace Domain. And on upon... Reaching level 12, I took a third feat. I took Eldritch Adept. And I'm going to also have Devil's Sight. Um, so I'm not sure exactly. Maybe, you know, I borrowed Kerr's sword and just, like, chatted it up a little bit. And occasionally, I, whenever I have any um, spell slots left at the end of the day, I cast Sending and, and talk to my therapist back in Elf City, which... I definitely remember the name of. That's such an elf. <laughs> How much does that cost? A uh, third level slot. Yeah. Wow. Yeah, the weekends and after seven, it's a six level slot. Yeah. <laughs> Cassie B. Hey, I'm Cassie. I'm playing nerd. Why'd you do that with your hand? Sorry, I thought you were telling me to speed up. I was no, like, no, I was talk like, I was, fast. I was okay. riding the whip. <laughs> I like, I can't talk that fast. Uh, I play nerd. You see a, a five foot ten green eyeball. Um, yeah, exciting stuff. <laughs> Can go on. Next is Hayden. Whoa! <laughs> Hi. Uh, I am. Uh, I I am Hayden. I play. I play Carr. He is a hexblade warlock. Uh, I took. 
Uh, most recent uh, incantation I took uh, is Beast Speech. This lets me cast uh, Talk with Beasts uh, as many times as I want without using Spell Slot so I may converse with Fluffy. Wow. So if you and I both cast Speak with Animals, can we like talk to each other? Yeah. Sweet. <laughs> as the as the DM of this uh, this thing, I rule yes. Binding. <laughs> With that new uh, newfound ability, do you want to visit a farm? With that, and just hear me s role play screaming for the next two hours? Yes. Cool, me too. Um. Well, good to see everybody. All right. Uh, sound off. How we doing? You hi. left yeah, off hi. at the hex and uh, have uh, just unveiled your new hit, your new number one smash Alia, top of the Alia door charts. Um, it's probably one of the only songs ever been heard. I think. I don't know. I just imagine like 800 years ago there were like like two songs. That sound right? Hot cross buns. Hot One. Cross buns. And call me maybe. <laughs> you know that sending is... stones, yeah. <laughs> um so you just had a big sing along chorus. By the way, for anyone that missed the sing along, it'll be uh, we'll be doing it again uh, next Friday at the Astro Theater sing along with comedy and D. They have the best sing alongs. <laughs> is it skillshare.com? I'm not going to admit I've been to Beauty and the Beast but yeah. why wouldn't you admit that? You don't want to admit that you got the hookup on those tickets. Yeah. You don't want people pestering you. I don't want to remind anybody of life before COVID, um, especially so myself. B before That's, COVID. Yeah. Yeah. Just more. <laughs> um, cool. So you guys are all level fifteen, right? We're all level twenty-three. We are now. I'm happy to. Congratulations. Yeah, <laughs> Um, Man, if you think about it, 23 is just everywhere. It's in everything. 23 and me. See? <laughs> Them. Hail Eris. <laughs> so, uh, does anybody want to uh, recap us just a little bit on what happened? About it? So we learned a new song. And then we uh, saw the armor, and we're about to say Fluffy. Beautiful. So, what you In see short. around you are a lot of soldiers <laughs> humming uh, this new song. <clears throat> and the beasts, the sentinels, have retreated back into the back into the hole. And uh, where's the hex? Can anybody see that? Yeah, a little. I see light. Maybe I can make it look like my head's coming. Was the Wait, hex behind you the whole time? Is that the hex? I, didn't I thought know that, that was. Either. That's where the mole man lived, I thought. Yeah, isn't that wild? Oh, I thought that was the mole town, too. Oh, that was the hex. Did the mole men live in the hex? It's a, it's a versatile piece of artwork. They live in Stockton Street. I thought it was like a weird pixelated forest. Mm. Mm. Mm -hmm. This is like a Rorschach test. What? Cassie, what do you see? Uh. Cable car. <laughs> You're crazy. I see thousands of sinners falling to their death. This is All one right. of those tests they have at the psychologist. <laughs> like, um... <laughs> and you passed. Yeah, least, that's what I have to say. All right. Um, we are we are outside of a giant mile wide hole in the ground. What do you want to do? I want to go sing in it. Mm -hmm. Okay. I think we're headed down the hole. Yeah, we want to help Kerr save Fluffy and find the pink striped Fluffy. We All gotta right. find the Fluffy way down in the hole. What a Fluffy world. This uh, area, it sort of uh, dips in. It looks a little uh, rough terrain-wise. Hmm. You do think that you will have to make some type of dexterity check to safely traverse down a good portion of the entrance uh kerr uh knowing that fluffy is uh nearby Dead? or suspecting oh, sorry uh charges forward with uh reckless abandon 
Roll at disadvantage down the escaping <laughs> hill. Sir. What? What? What am I rolling? Uh, two d twenty, and you're taking the lower one. But uh, what oh. skill? I have uh, good. Axe or uh, <laughs> axe or ass. You go. Your choice. You can use an axe. Use That's an cool. Axe. Speak for axe robotics. Like an ice axe. Well, I I got a four. It was the first one. Okay. Uh, and I got a nat twenty. It's the second one. <laughs> okay. Wait. All right. Well, the nat twenty is how you see it in your mind's eye mm-hmm. going. You know, visualization it, always works. Like, yeah, I can walk. I can walk down the rock. It's easy. Yeah. So I kill like, dragon. Have you ever seen a mountain goat? But the opposite. What would that be? Flying fish. Man bear pig. Mountain fish. No. An desert eel. Fish. Goat mountain. Mountain fish. <laughs> um, mountain fish. <laughs> Kerr, you, uh, you just start running down the hill. But cool. it might be steeper than it looked at first. Um, you start picking up steam, and suddenly you're going 20, 20, 20, 23 miles an hour, Kevin. What? 23 there miles an hour. There must be a school in the area. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> uh, Regington will carefully follow after him, and that is a 19 acrobatics. Very good. All right. The you're lowest not, I can roll. You're not running at your tops at 23 miles an hour. 23. Kill. Kill. Um, Hayden, you're yes. uh, you're 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 picking up dust. You're, uh, you're snowballing, but it's Hell dirt. Yeah. You're dirt balling. Don't Google that, by the way. That's exciting. Okay. Uh, Celebsuni. Yes, into the hole. In- Wait, how are we Don't getting down, either. like, on a rope or stairs or, like, are you just jumping? Uh, give well, me I'm, a perception. I'm just rolling down the hole. Did, did you oh, say it's advantage like one of those hills. Or disadvantage okay. or something? Uh, disadvantage <laughs> if you're running with reckless abandon. Oh, yeah. Well, my first one was a one, so I guess I don't need to roll again. So that's going to be a nine total. Nine total. Okay. Um, I should play with dice. I think that's how this game goes. All right. Uh, Hayden, good, sir. Well, I don't actually uh, have rope. As you reach the bottom, you're going to take 10 points of uh, what would amount to falling damage. Oof. Uh, <laughs> curse slams straight on its face yeah. uh, and then get, dusts up and continues. <laughs> Are oh. you just like dirty and bleeding and just yelling fluffy? Correct. <laughs> hopefully, must find bu- fluffy. hopefully he gets up before I land on him. That is so romantic. It's like, uh, <laughs> remember at the end of uh, you've got mail with Tom Hanks and Meg Ryan, and he was covered in mud and bleeding and looking. I think that's Castaway. I think that was Saving Private Ryan. <laughs> it was 127 <laughs> hours. Movie was it? Well said. Kind of. uh, it was Money Pit. Definitely Money Pit. <laughs> it was Polar Express. Definitely Polar Express. <laughs> Polar Express is scary, just the way his like flesh hangs off his face and just flaps in the wind. Ooh. Is that how fast the train goes? No, it's just how poorly the CGI is. Just uh... I've never seen the movie, so I I want to imagine now it's a movie where there's a train so fast it melts Tom Hanks' face off, but it's also a kids' movie. Don't Google Uncanny Valley. Hmm. <laughs> Thank you. All right, Kerr continues on. Um, <laughs> Celebsoni, you take three points of uh, ankle twisting damage as you uh, as, as you shimmy down in a slightly uh, more calculated manner, uh, but you catch a rock a little bit funny. You can walk it off, you know. I do. Like Coach would say. I'm gonna follow Kerr and start rolling down. Well. Uh, okay. Yeah. And I have my familiar out too, so I don't know if it rolls or like hovers while I roll. Which is remind us of your familiar again? Uh, it looks like a little eyeball as well. 
It's the Ew. green little flip floaty eyeball. With veins. Is it veiny? Yeah. Mm. I put some uh, visine on it so the veins would shrink a little bit, though. Does it fly? Yeah, or it like oh. hovers, I think. C can it have wings? No. Oh. <laughs> I mean, it doesn't need them. No. Okay. All right, did you roll? Yeah. Six? Oh, okay. 14. 14. Okay. Yeah. Um, you, uh, you, yeah, you managed to get down pretty well. Uh, your cane probably saved you a couple times there. <laughs> My kickstand, yeah. All right, everyone has dark vision. <laughs> Who has super duper dark vision? Oh, I do now. I think Ooh. I do, yeah. Sure, right. fine, everybody. <laughs> Everybody's level 30 and they have infinite dark vision. Um, good. Uh, 60 feet. So, uh, around you, there are, uh, there are, uh, six sentinels. Fluffy-esque looking, looking things. Uh, I cast speech, I cast speak with animals. Okay, you cast speak with animals. Where, where is Fluffy? Hey, this one smells good. Yes, I like the way that one smells. It smells so nice. Um, uh, yes, yes, thank you. This I know I smell very good. Uh, can you please tell... Is there, is there one of you with pink stripe? No, <laughs> no. What is... I don't know. What is it? What is the pink? Uh, we are going to eat you now. So please just stay Girl, there. Ask, ask if there's one that they bully. Is there one of you that you, you, do, you are not so nice to? <laughs> All of them. Yes. Yes. We... You're being very nice to each other right now. I, this is this is, seems to be a lie to me. You? Is he, are you? <laughs> we can. We're going. Yes, we're going to bully you by eating you. Is that mm -hmm. what bully means? And roll for initiative. Ah, oh, can I start what? singing the song? You may start singing. No, now you got to do me uh, a dex check, uh. please. Dex check? What? Uh, just uh, just nerd with the dex check. Okay, eighteen. Ah. What? Is that good or bad? You manage to pull out your <laughs> otherworldly instrument. You start humming the notes. Um, hey, Kevin, mm -hmm. can you play a song oh. called Whimsical Uncovering? What a fluffy By the Greasy Weasels. <laughs> Thank you. Um. Visit Skillshare.com to use how to learn how to use Sirenscape. <laughs> uh. <laughs> So, matching that DC, you pull your weapon out, you begin playing, and all the things fluffy, all the fluffies men, uh, they they just sit, they immediately sit down, and they start looking at you and sniffing. So I imagine that's what they would do, sniff. Uh, does, are they sniffing everybody, or like just me? Everybody. Okay. Yeah, six of them. Uh, I can. I. I continue my conversation with them. Then. This <laughs> is you, the most you, relaxed I think I've ever been. So you, you, you can all talk to each other. Is this correct? We can or can't. Can Can you? You can. Yes. Hey, can we talk to each other? Yes, we can talk to each other. Can, can I never you? I never tried it. What? Well, Can you ask a for a fluffy? Can you ask for a fluffy? Ask for a fluffy. Is there a fluffy, fluffy there? A fluffy. Fluffy is the name. A fluff. Oh. Yes, I'll see what I can do. <laughs> it's and, funny because um... he sounds like fluffy, but it's not fluffy. <laughs> thank you, thank you, DJ Kevin. You're welcome. And, and we don't even have to, like, uh, pay to get in. VIP, yeah. <laughs> um, it runs off. The one you talk to runs off. There's five left, um, but you do see it in the distance, you do see um, many, many of the, if you remember their eyes, not properly, act, uh, not properly recreated in our wonderful cartoon but the eye goes all the way around uh its head you see many of those uh those of you with super duper dark vision see that off in the distance in the distance 
Kerr, do you think we can train these sentinels to sing this song? <laughs> um, Nerg, are you still playing? Oh, yeah. She's just, uh, what is, what? or whatever the song is, right? Yeah. <laughs> My other song. Okay. Uh, <laughs> all the sentinels <laughs> remain uh, sort of docile. Yeah, I just keep playing. All right, I can uh, I can locate Fluffy, or I can cast Sending and talk to Fluffy. <clears throat> I think these are both good ideas. Okay, how about I locate Creature on Fluffy? That's a good one. What if I said yes, and I said it's right where Kerr is standing, <laughs> and this whole time... Something, something. Wouldn't that be cool finale? Woo. Can we ask it something only Fluffy would know? <laughs> yeah. You mean uh, like, what would only Fluffy know, though? Um. <laughs> you want to ask Kerr something only Fluffy would know? Or Kerr could, like, ask... Oh, wait. Never mind. That doesn't make sense. <laughs> Kerr, what is something Fluffy would only know? Just so we can figure out which one's Fluffy, because what if he's lying or something? Or I don't know. <laughs> What what is who is a good boy? <laughs> All right, I locate creature Fluffy. Which direction is Fluffy? That's like when you uh, when you do the Ouija board, and you're like, are you a good ghost or a bad ghost? Like, good, and then all your friends die. Uh, the I don't think that's known happened, but as Fluffy. <laughs> all right. <laughs> <clears throat> Do you guys believe it's June already? I'm like, it's June second. I was like, wasn't it just January? But whatever. <laughs> like, wow. Um, Fluffy seems dead ahead. I'm I'm afraid to tell you, Kerr, that Fluffy is dead ahead. <gasps> Did you say fl <laughs> Fluffy is dead, comma? Ahead. Right, well, are you what, telling? Geez. Are you telling me that Fluffy is, is ahead? He, Fluffy is only ahead now. Nobody. I I only know what the magic tells me. It tells me that Fluffy is dead ahead. <laughs> Kerr screams at the heavens. Ah! Poor Fluffy. We knew him too little. Yeah, it's it's kind of because when you scream to the heavens, it's like a sort of a rock cavern about 15 feet above you. But th there's a hole. <laughs> All right, we'll we'll go dead ahead. Dead you must ahead. find Fluffy's corpse. Must... I'm still playing music. Um, okay. All yeah. right. Very important. Good job. Um, uh, Kerr, Kerr rushes forward with 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 haste. <laughs> All right, uh, Kerr, gonna go ahead and Kerr. Uh, so you would see first ahead of you, um, the 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 path uh, seems to be somewhat of a straight trajectory, but it has uh, quite a bit of uh, rubble strewn in and out of the way. So for as uh, forward as a path it is, um, you're also having to wind around uh, rocks and boulders and things like that. Um, and it looks very cool um, and epic. You running and uh, just like jumping over these rocks, but then they get a little bit bigger and the uh, the way is obstructed a little bit and you kind of have to like squeeze through, but still the passion emanating from your from your soul. Uh, everybody else following along? Yes, keep the music yeah. up. Yeah, I'm like walking and playing, but I'm staying towards the back just so I like don't get hit, because then they're going to go crazy with my music. Okay. All right. Uh, Kerr, I'm going to say you have a 30-foot head start on everyone else. Um, and I think Reddington will be behind Kerr investigating for any type of traps or obstacles that Kerr doesn't magically set off. Okay. Will <laughs> you do me the solid of a perception check? <laughs> That's a 12. Okay. Uh, good. I can't wait for Lil Wayne to sample this, by the way. How do we do that? 
Skillshare? We have to put a gem in his head, like Lil Uzi Vert, and then... Right. <laughs> then he can. Or kind of a blood shoe. Yes, yeah, and then get him out of Mar-a-Lago. <laughs> <sighs> um, okay, excellent. Uh, so you continue on for uh, about 10 minutes. Uh, it's getting a little bit more uh, difficult to walk around. Um, but you, with a 12 perception, you will pick up uh, a head very far ahead uh, is a lot of uh, movement. Very far, there's a head. Rustling. <laughs> Fluffy! And for every sentinel you encounter, Nurg, I want you to note that uh, they are a certain distance away from you. Uh, they, mm -hmm. If you want to give me a perception check also, let's see how you do for this. <clears throat> at 25. That's excellent. You notice that uh, within 120 feet, of you uh the fluffies uh stop what they're doing and uh sit or hmm. beg roll over play dead uh outside of that uh 120 foot zone um they seem to have a more wild and feral nature about them okay hmm. how far away did you say i'm sorry 120 120 feet. okay so I have to be with Santa 120. Uh, good, good, good. I know this is the second to last episode, but how does Nerg play a recorder with no mouth? All right, so. <laughs> she blinks quickly and generates enough airflow. And then there's a funnel and a tube. And then, Wait, do you anyway. Have, do you have an eyelid? Kind of work it. It's like, you know, she has a hat. <laughs> It, it just, yeah, uh, my, my eye absorbs oxygen and then like a plant. <laughs> Nerg, are you okay down here? I know there's very little sunlight. She's fine. Still playing her music. Sassy. She kind of likes it. It feels good on her eye because it's not all dry and stuff. Like the fog. And speaking of, it is a little moist down here. Uh, there are trickles of water coming in, and after about 10 minutes, uh, you come to a exit, like a larger area. Uh, and Nerg, I think with that perception check, I'll also give you... Well, you might also know this. It's the underground Dwarven City that oh. all, the, all the Sentinels are at. And where you met the mole people and that and that. I guess the yeah, mole I people. Telepathically... Oh, sorry. oh, sorry. I guess they decided I not to drop the roof message on it. Every... <laughs> anyway, go, go. No, no, me. you go. <laughs> I say I telepathically message everybody that. That's all. So you guys huh? know that. Anyway. Right. <laughs> what did you say? I guess they decided not to drop the roof on it. <laughs> AC, you look up and the entire ceiling is covered in dynamite and you hear the end <laughs> or roll for new characters <laughs> cool so uh so that's what you see within a uh, 120 feet of nerg uh the sentinels uh are are uh docile outside of that they're not large dwarven city um also uh you see that this is sort of a a mid-floor area but further in the distance the hole continues uh which i think uh celeb Sunni would know is east weast we keep I'm going weast yep that's the way I always say that whenever I have the opportunity. That's the way Fluffy is. Yes, it's the path of weast resistance. <laughs> There's so much weast resisting us this way. <clears throat> All right, we head um, towards Fluffy. Sel Selbzuni, your uh, your your locate creature is still kicking. Good. Yes. How long have we been underground at this point? Fifteen minutes. Okay, perfect. Uh, 50 minutes. 
there in the center dead ahead is fluffy there's fluffy big pink stripe on his back <laughs> looking around uh, maybe getting nipped at a little bit from all the other mean sentinels who have no 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 sense of decency during Ooh. pride <laughs> <laughs> i bite this one i call out fluffy uh and he looks up but there are so many sort of just wild packs of of sentinels in the way yes yes <laughs> ouch ow I, I i run i run to fluffy and shove the other fluffies away <laughs> um let's see i'm gonna put you 60 feet ahead of nerg cool okay. nerg are you uh what are you doing I'm walking while I play, so I'm gonna uh, walk until the fluffies can hear the music. So I'm gonna get within 120 feet of them. Cool. And then hopefully they stop attacking uh, the real fluffy. All right. Then, almost as if a sea of <laughs> of multi-limbed tentacles and and animal hooves part, fluffy looks mm -hmm. at Kerr and runs but it's slow motion but he it's running in uh -huh. slow motion they've been picking on me all right, and he puts his big hoofs on you, and he licks your face, and he l and you're gonna take two points of fluffy licking damage on your face as his tongue just breaks the skin, but very lovingly. I I <laughs> the cur is slimy and all scraped up and bloody from falling down the hole earlier. You're also like a dirt snowball with a head and just limbs sticking out. Uh -huh. Daddy, it's so good to see. Oh, sorry. It's so good to see my sweater. It's kind of ripped. <laughs> uh, this. Uh, we we fix. We can fix this. It's where, okay. Where were you? Why did you leave? We're we're looking for for your music to make uh to make the other fluffies not kill us. Well, we I, well we get you back. The song. This this song slaps. Yes, I know. Slap. I know this song slaps. Fluffy. It's so good. It makes Kurt... me want to sit and be nice. It's like a moment of clarity. Kurt picks up Fluffy. Wow. And then walks out of the campaign. <laughs> having having his <achieved> goals. <laughs> <laughs> and, uh... And we set off the dynamite. Join us for our next campaign. Next season. Kerr and Fluffy. Yeah, next week is just going to be four hours of talk back, you know, really. So just uh, get your questions ready, get prepared, because we're not making any. We're just going to wait for you. <laughs> Excellent. Um, great. So we're here. Wait, Hayden, really? Really what? Are you? What? No. Gah, you got me. I, I'm gonna play the rest. Of, I'm gonna play the rest of the session. Daddy, I want you to continue on with these adventures. That is my dying wish. I'm not really dying, but you know, we'll all die one day. So technically. Well, well Fluffy, what what's down here? Why why are you all down here? Is there some sort of central thing we can pacify or destroy to 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 save you all? I only know that there is um, there there is only uh, something that we are we have to protect down here. Maybe we can help. Can you can you show us this thing, right. Fluffy? You're the only thing that we need to protect now. Also, besides um, rounding up all the mole people, and we've killed quite a few of them, mm -hmm. um, mm -hmm. but they're. Very they are they are very weird. I I understand this. I Sim <laughs> similar to dwarves, really. Just diggy. Just yeah, yes. Diggy. Let, let's stop killing more people and or dwarves. Uh -huh. You know, it's funny with this music. I don't feel like I want to kill anything. It, it's quite nice. 
feel like I can maybe get on with my life if I have, you know, personal okay. ambitions and hopes and aspirations. Fluffy, do you have you ever tried to sing a song? What is that? Yes, Fluffy, have you ever had to make a performance check? <laughs> what is that? Well, if you, as much as you like this song, I was thinking you could actually perform it. I start walking closer so the music gets sl louder slowly. DM is curious. Try it. S sing along with us, Fluffy. Sing along. How? <laughs> What if she was one of us? I'm going to. <laughs> uh, just roll it. I don't know. I don't know how to sing. I. It is. This is the. Ah, uh, and like that's all you hear in in your head, but in real life, it's like. Ah, ah, <laughs> ah, ah. Okay, we we have some work to do. Am I, am I doing it? Your voice is so beautiful. I am so proud of you, my son. I feel like <laughs> I could I could do this if I had maybe the right kind of uh, inspiration. Okay, you, you're gonna get nowhere by coddling the, the poor thing. That was bad, and we're going to punish you until you do it well. I will kill you and your entire family. Oh, my I have like an extra dead. harmonica because could we try and teach him the harmonica or what, something? What are you talking about? Your family's not that we met them <laughs> 20 minutes ago. Well, bad bad news it about was that. Two didn't, days ago and they were murdered after we left. Didn't none of us, didn't only <laughs> only Reddington knew that before, right? I think I scried. <laughs> I He's cried. I yeah, think, he had I his think we all know. Yeah. Okay. I. <laughs> well, that was very insensitive of you, Kerr. Reddington does not take it personally. <laughs> uh, it's oh. it's okay. Those guys are jerks, anyways. Uh, go back to playing. Files it under. Heading, uh, heading. Kerr being Kerr. Fluffy. <laughs> Fluffy's trying. Okay, we're gonna we're gonna need some sort of instrument for Fluffy to learn this song. I think. I. I... Well, I use my mage hand and I pass him my harmonica. Uh, he starts chewing on it. Oh, you are you are musician, Fluffy. This is beautiful. Uh, the harmonica takes uh, four points of damage and is broken. <laughs> in it. I also have a lute. <laughs> starts and chewing I mage on that it. to him. Maybe he can play the lute. He starts chewing on it. Okay, what is that? <laughs> He's trying to sing and play guitar at the same time. Hmm. Yeah, you'll get it, Fluffy. We'll, we'll, we'll sign you up for lessons. You can visit Skillshare.com. <laughs> Had to. Um, Fluffy, take us take us to this thing that we're going to help you protect. Yes. Uh, okay, it's right this way. <laughs> uh, and he leads you down a path which, uh, without the use of Nurg. Uh, and her song, uh, the Goliath Kobold uh, anthem, um, would be treacherous. But uh, they continue down. Throughout this area, you see uh, holes in the walls you would know as being probably large enough for uh, the Mohalar. And uh, you're sort of taken into a central part of this ancient city. Now, around you, you see uh, what could be shapes of buildings, um, 90 degree angles, and <laughs> things not found in nature. Uh, occasionally you find a skeletonage with cobwebs, yeah. and that's for atmosphere. Hmm. So uh, I, 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 I pick up two bones and play the skulls like drums. <laughs> Look, these, you do have instruments here. <laughs> <laughs> you make the song so much better. And I'm not saying that they <laughs> like me. Hey, Reddington, is, are you related to these guys because they're dead? <laughs> Can you play the skulls one more time? Two, three, four. Just sorry, sharpening is, his this, knife. This is very, dis I'm sorry, this is very disrespectful <laughs> to Reddington's fa dead family that I'm playing on their, their stupid skulls. I'm putting it on. <laughs> uh, but 
um, closer towards the center, uh, there is a, a cave formation. Uh, it looks like a little mountain inside of this cavern. Uh, and there is a large uh, lock. Well, it looks like a very intricate lock uh, that nobody would really know what it looks like except for Kerr. What? For a row? For a roll for history. Oh. <laughs> oh, that thing I'm good at. <laughs> I was about to say, I have a very intricate thieves tool. Oh. We got a 10, baby. <laughs> um, you, you, last time you saw this structure was 3000 ish years ago on some very, uh, very wild exploration adventure, whatever you were doing in your young years, but you can't really, uh, get much more than that, but you've seen it before. I've seen the star before. I don't have much else though. Uh, yeah, so this is what we're here to protect. Um, so, don't know why. You, you're protecting the door or what's behind the door? I don't know. Let's open it. Like, <laughs> it feels very territorial, except I, with its music. I bang on the door to, like, gauge how thick it is. You, you're such a good drummer. Where did you learn this? <laughs> I pick it up here and there. So good. Um, it is... It is completely thick uh i i how do i explain this it's not uh really it, it's not really the most uh it looks advanced mm. for, are you calling us stupid uh, mm -hmm. very very <laughs> i what is this episode 50 i can finally say it is there uh is there like a hole in the lock where key would go uh no. It, but it is. Is a there any? It is a lock. Okay. It is a lock. I give a bardic inspiration to Regington with my mage, mage hand or whatever. And I cast I, I would guidance. Like, <laughs> I would like to try and pick the lock. <clears throat> I guess has... I could also enhance your ability if you'd like. I think we're, Ooh. well, if it's possible, we're going to be able to do it. But, True. Uh... <laughs> um, it has such a, an intricate design. There's there, there's a large uh, cylinder going this way in the middle. It's probably the size of you. Uh, around it are some uh, interlocking. I'll just say it looks like machinery, but that's only for the players to know. Okay. No one else. Okay. Where? Ten. Um, I think. Ten. But I'm pretty sure it's ten. Yeah. Does a twenty-six enough to? Uh... You take your tools. Okay. You tap around. You listen. You look for hinges or edges or anything that you can get a tool into. Everything seems very sealed. Okay, what um, about a 31? Because I'm going to extend my psychic die. Again, so uh, hmm. the creases are so fine that you can't get a tool in anywhere. You spend a good... Well, then I guess there is nothing to do here. We should <laughs> leave and just be done with the campaign. Is Wait. there any writing around? Or does somebody have detect magic? Yes, I can detect magic. Is there magic? Hmm. I could summon let's I could summon some sort of greater demon. Maybe he maybe he can punch down door. <laughs> I could animate all those skeletons we passed. Okay, I have How many skeletons would it take to smash <laughs> down this door? <laughs> just um what if we just investigate the room looking for any type of clues? Oh yes. Can we try saying open sesame? Yes. Nothing happens. And so did you say there was a tube in the middle? There is a tube in the middle. Is there yes. something that we could look down or No, Regington scoped it out very thoroughly and everything looks completely flush with each uh each connecting section. And it's a twenty-four to investigate. Hmm. Mm. 
Uh, give me an Arcana check. That's a 19. Okay. Um, you think very hard and you, you look at the structure and what it does. And with that investigation, Regington would also understand that uh, whoever built this, whatever this is and whatever connection this has with the Sentinels, there might uh, be something having to do with sound. And Nierg is already playing her instrument right outside it, right? Yeah. yeah. Oh, wait a minute. What? Uh... So silly. Uh, let me just try this. And I will use thaumaturgy to blow the door open. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> thaumaturgy makes big sound. This is a good idea. Yes. Sound. Not again. Son of a bitch. Does that um, work? You're getting a message from Chief Dean. <laughs> wants to know if you're using thaumaturgy to try to blow down a door again because his door just, his door just blew up. Chief, off. that could be that could be any cleric in the kingdom. Yeah, right. Um, all right, we'll talk. Oh, okay. So this is a door. It's set in stone. Mm, it 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 doesn't seem like stone. Uh, it's it seems more like metal. Okay, what about the floor? Stone Heavy floor? Metal. Uh, it is it is inside of a, a cave. So yeah. Maybe we have to heat it up, but I'm playing music, so I can't. <clears throat> um Okay, um I will cast stone shape and uh get a five foot cube directly below the door to just disappear basically, create a passageway underneath. Um, okay, very good. Under that, uh, it, 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 the, the metallic, the, uh, the very odd stuff continues onward. Uh, onward in which direction? Uh, onward in the forward. Uh, this is very <laughs> large. So we dug a hit, hole under the door, picture. basically. Okay. Yeah. Hold on. No, with your with your words, pay me a word oh. picture. <laughs> so, uh, where you've come, um, this uh, door is about uh, fifteen feet, uh, fifteen foot diameter. That's fifteen feet from top to bottom, not thirty. Right. I always get that confused. Right. Fifteen foot, um, <clears throat> large cylinder in the middle that looks like you know, it's about the size of a small person, and then there is interlocking. Uh, it looks like very technically complicated armor interlocking with itself. It is so incredibly tight, Regington couldn't even get a hair through any of the cracks. You've just uh, diminished some of the floor underneath uh, and it continues sort of downward. Okay, so, I have an idea. Yeah. Um, Regington is gonna try singing a scale. Okay. Pentatonic? Uh, a scale! I passed him my harmonica in case he wants to try that too. <laughs> yeah, do 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 a scale on Is there are there any letters anywhere? There are no letters anywhere. Uh however you feel like you're onto something. <laughs> hint, hint. So does the door react okay. to the scale? He's gonna. He plays a scale on the harmonica. It's a little bluesy. It's uh, the the one that Fluffy kind of chewed on, because it's gross. I I will cast yeah. mending on it. <laughs> Regington, <laughs> do you know the feeling when you're picking a lock <laughs> and you get a few of the uh, a few of the teeth? What is that? Mm -hmm. It's in a lock. You get a few of them, and you feel like. You feel like it's starting to do something, but then it's you don't. Because really locks are made out of horse teeth. I yes. Think so. Yeah. Yes. That's what I was taught. So you get that feeling. You feel like you've loosened it a little bit, but with it's not the right technique, and 
and it's uh, stubborn. Okay, there is some sound it wants to hear. Hmm. And it doesn't like the music I'm playing, huh? Okay. <clears throat> I'm scared to stop playing the music because all the fluffies. So I'm like, hmm. <laughs> like, mm. Options. Let me see. Can my familiar play music? Is that a thing? Uh, I don't think so. Oh, okay. Um, can it? Um, Is that a thing? Reddington's gonna try and play the music, the kobold Goliath music backwards and see if that does anything. <laughs> Cobalt Manson. Give me a performance check. What is my charisma? That's a good question. <laughs> That's not bad. I don't think it's good, though. Can my familiar fly down That's that hall? Um, he's stone-shaped while we do all this, too. Or hover, uh, it's only like a five foot oh. long passage. I thought it was like metal that led somewhere. Okay, never mind. So that's a 15. 15. <clears throat> and you hear. Uh, it's dwarvish, dwarvish music. It's dwarvish. The dwarf bard known as Skrillex. Um, the door begins to light up. Uh, the center turns into a bright gold uh, with uh, white hot uh, around its edges. Um, it starts to unravel in sort of a circular motion, uh, but it doesn't seem to, uh, it, it kind of snaps back. You feel like uh, you, the performance you made have missed a note or two. Uh, however, Kerr, Fluffy is going to bite you for a Bit. nine to hit. That's a miss. Mm. Okay, he bites at you. Kerr, you... Fluffy, that that was wonderful bite. Great job. No, Kerr, Thank you. uh -huh. you're supposed to pretend Kerr, like it I'm hurts saying. you. That's how you train them not to bite. <laughs> It is. I want to train Fluffy to do everything that he desires. Fluffy, that was a wonderful bite. I'm sorry. Uh, it, just, it made me very upset. That song that I like, it was, it was, it was bad and made me quite angry. Sorry, I didn't mean it. <laughs> no, it's it's okay. It was it was wonderful bite. Seeing that Reddington plays the song backwards again. Give me a performance check. Guidance. <laughs> Guidance. Yeah. I'm I'm very much within tooth biting range right now. Good enough. And that's fifteen. Fifteen. <laughs> Again, it starts to unlock. It begins to open. You can see, you can see into this, into an area beyond it. Uh, but you're not quite as proficient, and it starts to close. Uh, Kerr, that's going to be another nine to hit. Another are, miss. Are there a lot of sentinels around? Fluffies? Yes. This is some great biting practice you're getting, Fluffy. This is amazing. I do not know if it's great, but he does need the practice. <laughs> well, maybe Nier needs to try, but that would right. that would involve stopping playing the song. Yeah. Is anyone minutes. other than Nier proficient in performance? I Fine mean. Enough. I'm okay at it. I'm not proficient, though. You guys know the song, though, so you can, Why like, don't... play it in the meantime. Why don't we both try and do it? And you can, um, guidance yourself, and I maybe will psychic All right. if I have to. And I'm going to play the scale. Or, uh, that's what we were doing, right? Playing the scale? I believe. No, we're playing the song backwards. I play it backwards. Okay. Does that Night -night sound King? good? Yes. I'm going to. <laughs> uh, I'm going. I'm going to see if this works. Hold on a second. Oh. Does that work? I can do it. No. You can control. <laughs> I can play the music. 
Um, uh, so that was a 19? Yeah. And I got and an 18. You got an 18. <laughs> now, the door, the cylinder seems to... I got a 20. You got a nat 20? Nat Nine. 20, yeah. Okay. It's 23. Mm -hmm. Here's what happened. Very good. You are all uh, playing the song. It slowly begins to open. You can see very far into this thing. Uh, Reddington, you notice that uh, as soon as you missed a note, or something like that, the door seemed to uh, shut uh, oh. in an amazingly quick manner. Uh, How are the oh, sorry. No, no problem. Go ahead. How are the fluffies reacting? The fluffies are furious. Uh, oh. Fluffy is going to again. That's a <laughs> 17 to hit. It's a miss. That's a miss. It's good armor you got, Kai. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yes, we we waited for like a whole campaign to get it. Uh, can I misty step through the door? As soon as uh, as soon as it is open enough that I can see through. Sure. Oh yeah. Sure you can. Uh, sorry, give me one second. Uh, so, um, Kevin uh, Regington, the 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 twenty three. You've mm -hmm. watched uh, Nerg enough to. Uh, pick up a few things that is enough to open the door and uh you're going to misty step through the door but if it looks like it's closing i'm definitely going to do that but you tell me what's happening oh yeah i mean um you, you'd seen it uh where uh you had seen it where uh when brendington missed the note it's it just snapped shut quicker than a blink of an eye it's a blink of nirg's eye but yeah. uh, Reddington <laughs> has the door open, playing this backwards. And uh, all of the sentinels in the area are running towards you. Please roll for initiative. Come on in. <laughs> are we um, inside this thing? Or are we still like in the corridor? This is a marsh pit. That makes sense. So if I start playing it normal, would we be smashed or something? That's all. 17. Well, Regington is still playing it backwards, so the door's open. Uh, and then Celebsuni, did you misty step into the room? Yes. 30 okay. feet in. I don't know what's it, how far it is. Very cool. I'm um, going to... Oh, and Nerg's going to play it. You're playing it forwards? I don't know if that would... I'm going to try it really quick since Regington's playing it backwards just to see what happens. Yeah. I don't know if that's a good or bad idea right now. So. <laughs> I'm sorry. You know, you know, I'm gonna, I'm gonna not do that because I'm scared the door is gonna close. The yeah. <laughs> um. Roll your money to Scientology. <laughs> All right. Did anyone roll over a twenty? Yeah. Uh, oh wow. Twenty-one. Yeah. Twenty-one. Okay. I rolled a nine. Oh. Okay. Uh, uh, Seventeen. 17. Who oh. wants to go first? Regington can go first. He's faster. Okay. okay. <laughs> and then... All right. Uh, Kerr, you're up. I'm going to give... Uh, since that one song was played one more time. Okay. That is a... Uh... Where did it go? Okay. Uh, that's a 26 to hit. Kerr? Wait, so someone's going before me? It's Fluffy. <laughs> oh, okay. Uh, that's a hit. All right. You take uh, four piercing damage, but probably more done to your heart. Fluffy! <laughs> Fluffy, Fluffy. This, was, this is a terrific bite. <laughs> Thanks. I will try again. Um, You do notice immediately running towards you are... Um, about a dozen uh, sentinels, and they're running uh, at full speed. Kerr, you are the the uh, sentinels will notice. Uh, uh, Kerr casting darkness on himself. Okay. Mm -hmm. Uh, and then I will walk. I say, Fluffy, you stay here. You stay put. Stay. Uh, and then I will walk, uh, between the sentinels and Kerr, and or and the others. Here again, Regington. Okay. Very good. 
Regington, you are playing this song backwards. Mm -hmm. You're doing quite a good job of it. Uh, Can I move while I'm playing the harmonica? Uh huh. I've seen Blues Traveler do it all the time. I don't know the singer's name. I just call him Blues Traveler. Oh, John Popper? Yeah, he does a runaround. Mm -hmm. um, so <laughs> how far away, how much movement would it take to get like into the room? Uh, for you, it's only going to be 10 feet to get into the room. Now you're playing okay. it. Okay. But uh, roll me a performance check with advantage. Uh, 17. Okay, 17. Uh, the last performance check you did is going to uh, continue throughout the end of your turn. However, that is going to apply to the next uh, performance check. Okay. Does that make sense? Is it my action to keep performing? No. Okay. Are there any um, are there any sentinels engaged uh, with Kerr? Well, I guess I couldn't see because they'll be in the darkness. Um, I'm gonna use my bonus action and aim at a sentinel. All right, one of the sentinels that you can see, go for it. Yeah, I'm gonna use my bonus action to aim. Bonus action aim. And, well, I think that misses, but let's look anyways. That is a 11 to hit. 11 that minutes. misses. I'm going to add a psych die and go. That is a 18 to hit. Okay. Uh, 18 will hit. Okay. So that is... <laughs> I need an AI uh, dice counter. <laughs> Casey, do they have that yet? I mean, they, <laughs> they, you could just Google uh, the dice you want to roll. If you want. 25 <laughs> psychic <know>. damage. <laughs> 25 psychic damage. All right. Mm -hmm. uh, that will be that, will be that one. Um, you take a good, you take one of the tentacles off of uh, this sentinel. And that was from a range, that was a ranged attack. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, you take one of the, uh, off of the Sentinel. Do you, do you use any movement? Yeah, you walk. Yeah, use my movement to walk in. Okay, you walk in. And if you're doing nothing else. That, that's everything I can do, yeah. At the end of your turn, you continue with the performance check and the door slams shut. Sorry, Celebsuni, you were in there, right? Yes. Okay, the door snaps shut. Uh, you are in a room uh, with Celebsuni. The light uh, goes completely out. And what is in this room? Okay. Um, do you want to give me an uh, investigation check? I mean, I don't want to like spend a bunch of time, but I want to glance around. I know, around. and I'm going to give you a free, free <laughs> looks, freebie look see. I'm opening my eyes, man. Give you a freebie look um, see. That's a nine. Freebie Luxy, that's my dancer name. I'm really just, I really want to perceive rather than investigate, you, is what I'm oh, saying. Oh, well then, <laughs> perceive away. Well it's then, your body. In that case, it's an 18. 18. All right. Um, with the dark vision, you can see the outlines. Uh, there seems to be a very large square, and there seems to be some type of uh, long, you would think of it as a table. And it looks like it has many, many perfectly cut square jewels in the center. They're fairly large jewels, but that's uh, the only way I can sort of describe that. Okay, so there's a square. What is that? You mean the room is square? The, the, there's a huge, so there's a large uh, square probably on one side of the wall. There's a large table and inside of that table are many seemingly encrusted, perfectly trimmed square jewels. No doors. The only way I can describe it. Okay. Any doors or windows? How big is the room? Only the door you came in. And the room is about uh, it's 20 square feet. Seems to be made of metal on all sides. 
Absolutely. Um, okay, so there's a square on the wall. There's, so there's other various intricate designs and things that you don't recognize from anywhere. Okay, but one of the metal walls has a square on it that's also made of metal. Uh, sorry, say that one more time. It's one of the metal walls. You said there's a large square, so it's on the yes, wall. Yes, opposite opposite the wall that you came. So opposite the door. Okay. In which you came. So it's like there a metal you. metal pipes in a square shape. Uh, I will I. I will, I will go out of game for a second and say it looks like a large it, it, it is a it is a 15 square foot square on the wall <laughs> what kind of square what color is it uh it's 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 completely pitch black in here so it's hard for you to but when I came in there was light right when, when I came in um it was it could have been <coughs> black but it also had a shade of white but most so gray. Was, it was yes. great. <laughs> okay. Uh, and these, the jewels, what colors were they? Uh, all <laughs> manner of colors. Lots of reds and blues, some greens. Okay, cool. Um, so the door is closed now. Yes. Uh, I guess I will um, use my action to try to perform the song backwards. Does that take an action? Yes. Wait, Simon, I was playing it backwards still. Um, oh, you were? I yeah, that's why, oh, yeah. They, that's why they attacked. Because I, um, I didn't want it to close on me because then I'd get smashed. Oh, I thought one was playing it forwards and one was playing it backwards. Oh, yeah, no, so I thought about, now I will since the door closed, but just a heads up. No, well, in that so case, if that's the, the oh, okay. I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. It's OK. OK, so I think I think <laughs> all really three sorry. of us were playing it backwards. Neil yeah, okay. got a 19, I got an 18. Yeah. Regington got a 20 something. Okay. So um, do I need to use an action to keep playing it or well, how does it work? Okay, so here's what, uh, basically, um, you can see from Regington's performance, it's a, it's a DC 20 mm -hmm. to keep the door open. So an 18 and a 19 would not work. And since Regington rolled a 17 on the last one, uh, that is why the door is shut. Okay, so if I need to, per do I have to use my action to perform, or can I just try it? Yeah. Yeah, what? It's action. Okay, so I can't cast guidance. That means. Uh, no, unless you have it from before. Mm -mm. Okay. Well, I got a twelve. Okay. Uh, it's it hums a little bit. It lights up just a little bit. It sort of starts to move. Um, but it being completely dark in here, heat of heat of the moment, um, it doesn't it doesn't seem to open. Sounds good. Uh, bonus action: I will cast spiritual weapon just right next to the door at third level. Um, oh, is there anything around the door on this side, like a lever, for example, or a button? No, sir. Nothing, honey. That's it then. All right, beautiful. Uh, it is Selvsuni, and then it is my turn. Uh, let's see. So you're going to be here. They're running. Um, Kerr. In this darkness. Uh, can you see in the darkness? Yes. All right. <laughs> uh, some of them are uh, within a certain range of you. And you can see these eyes are trained on you. And they're so going the to dark, attack. The darkness does nothing. Well, it's magical no darkness. It's magical dark? Does that? Yeah. If they have regular dark vision, they cannot see through it. Correct. Correct. Cool. They so they attacking. can see me. Okay. They can. It's. it's uh, <laughs> I, I do love that the last three things we fought all all overcome this. That's very cool. I. I didn't. Who would have thought that the DM would plan against the thing you use every time? It's funny because he doesn't know how to use darkness because he just has all these questions. So it wasn't planned, which is why it's actually funny. <laughs> I'm like, uh, but it worked out. A, first one is a 27 to hit. That's a hit. All right. Second I'm one's a nat 20. Okay. All right. Um, let's see if it's going to be done. All right. All right. And the last one is going to be a 22 to hit. They all hit. Okay. Uh, so the first one, 
is going to be yeah. five points of bitey damage. Second mm -hmm. one is going to be six points of bitey damage. I'm sorry. This is the uh, this is the net twenty. Huh? And that one is going to be. Oh, I see. I see. I see. Sorry. One second. All right. So I say five, six, and then seven points of biting damage. How much total? Uh, eighteen. Yes. AI dice counter. Okay, the last one. <laughs> I'm kidding. Is a twenty-six to hit. Oh, so four attacked. Uh, this is going to be the fourth attack. Cool. Does they all hit? hit? All right. All right. Uh, that's going to be 34 points of piercing damage. Total? Uh, that's for that la the fourth attack. And you. Why, why was that one so much more powerful? Uh, <laughs> what? Yes. Yes. Uh, so 34 yeah. plus 18 is. Uh, 52? Correct. Yes. And I need a DC uh, constitution. Uh, one sec. We hold was... these self truths to be. <laughs> oh, jeez. Uh, that's going to be a seven. You are restrained. A tentacle just wraps oh. itself around your body. Hey, you know. Fluffy, he's like you. <laughs> Daddy. How would that go? <laughs> How is he? Fluffy's voice fluffy fluffy changes like? every time he talks. It's cool. <laughs> I'm encouraging him to make a concentration check on darkness. No, it's, it's, I'm, I'm letting it go. It obviously oh, didn't okay. do anything. <laughs> All right. Um, that is it. Hayden, I want to give you a, a free perception check, please. It's not good. Uh, it's going to be a, a f eight. Um, okay. Uh, I'll, I'll just say that uh, there's other sentinels within your darkness in the general vicinity. They are running towards uh, whatever sound is emanating. Mm -hmm. Okay. Anything else? That's my line. Um, Nerg, one of them is going to catch up with you. Okay. And that is a nat 20. Uh, I'm just kidding, yeah. <laughs> 11 wow. points of piercing damage. Okay. And can you make me a con check on your song? I thought you said I wasn't playing it. Well, you weren't playing it well enough. <laughs> okay. <laughs> but, I mean, yeah, in that case... You know, <laughs> but it's your yeah. turn all right what i'm gonna do is i have this thing called performance of creation and i get to make a, an object that plays music so the music it's gonna play is that song and i'm gonna cast it's uh it's just gonna look like a box just because I, I haven't or something weird a weird box and i'm gonna cast that and it's gonna it's like faint but it's gonna start playing that song how is it playing the song? You know, I can read this to you. Oh, no, no, no. I mean, okay. forward or backwards? Oh. Uh, forward to pacify, backwards to open. I'm going to do... Oh, it's the right... I'm going to do forward just because I am getting attacked. And so mm -hmm. is Kerr. I'm not inside the thing. I'm sorry. That's what she would do. All right. Wow. <laughs> but so I put a... it away from the door. Like, tor more towards uh, where Kerr is because that's where all the fluffy is. What's fluffy the range are. on that? Well, like 10 feet, so I did 10 feet away from me. Okay. <laughs> but I'm assuming I'm in the darkness and stuff because Kerr was next to me. Is that right, Kerr? Uh, there's no darkness anymore. Oh, well, there's well, no darkness Kerr anymore. From me? Yeah. That was useless anyway. Well, I do it 10 feet away from me. So. And as far away from the door as possible. So 10 feet away from me and the door, I guess. Very good. All right. And so it's you don't playing even need that to song. And it lasts, um, it lasts hours. Uh, I'll. I'll get back to you on that, but that's what I do. Bonus cool. action, my familiar is going to take the help action on one of the fluffies if they attack. Uh, 
Excellent. There, there should be calm since the thing's playing the music. Good. Well, yeah. that's the end of the round. And what you can see are that they are uh, trepid. They are a little bit more calm and- And it lasts no, four actually, hours. Sorry. Fantastic. No. Um, they are completely uh, mellowed out right now. Am I no? Am I no longer restrained? Uh, he will. It will let go. Now it's a hug. Yeah. And in the <laughs> uh, in the light, you can see uh, this. This one looks different. The one that restrained you. Cool. What does it yeah. look like? Well, it looks. It looks like a sentinel, but it looks like a much larger, jacked, like you know, did roids in college, back knee, bad attitude. You know. You know the type. Um, he says, I'm sorry. I don't know what got over me. This song is very nice. <laughs> it is nice. What is your name? It's nice to meet you. I don't know. I have ah. no idea what they're saying. I just hear like weird noises for, for the record. Yeah. <laughs> and we can cut back to the uh, inside of this this room. Uh, Regington Celebsuni, what are you guys doing? All right, I guess... Uh, I will cast guidance on you, Regington, and we can try and play the song and open the door. Can, can you um, cast it through the door? Guidance? I think I have to see. Oh, but you know what I can do in addition is invoke hey. emboldening bond. So that would give you two D fours. And I think I don't have to see anyone, so I can uh, I can do that on all four of us. Hey, Nirk, do you have silent spell? She doesn't. I'm, oh. She picked really weird spells. And I have Sky, right? <laughs> <laughs> That's a 14 for... Uh... It, that might be useful later. Yeah. <laughs> it's or humming, it's head. lighting up. Well, I can it's add it. Well, there's no way to get 20 with that. Um, that was after the 2d4? Uh, it's 14 with 1d4. So it's kind of... Mm. Maybe I'll hold that d4. Well, it's, it's, I can give it to you every turn. Mm -hmm. I mean, we're just going to keep trying that, I guess. Okay. Um, Celebsoon, if you want to make me a... Or are you guiding him? I'm guiding. I got gotcha. you. Nurk, Kerr, you're outside. The uh, Sentinels are relaxed and chill. Do you guys want to do anything? Hmm. Maybe we should, I can't talk to them, but maybe I should move the box away from the door so I can play the song backwards and like open the door. Yeah, just play it really quietly. Uh, yeah. <laughs> hey, <laughs> uh, hey, my, my, I talk to the, to the big dog and say, uh, hey, my, my new friend, would you do me a favor? Uh, uh, what, what if you put your, your tentacles over the ears? Would this be okay? Maybe why would I do that? I think it would I think it would be a fun idea, is all. Maybe it's like a game or something. Eat this like, new game. It's a quiet game. Yeah. It puts its tentacle it wraps the tip of its tentacle around its ear. Like this. No, like cover so you can't hear. It it's fun sensory deprivation exercise. <laughs> mm. <laughs> uh, it puts its tentacles in its ear. I, I rolled a twenty-seven to play it backwards, and I, I go as far away from the fluffies and as close to the door as possible. Okay, well that one. I, I, I go. I go stand. <laughs> I go pick up. I pick up good fluffy and stand by the door. <laughs> okay, uh, Nurg, the uh, you play the song. The door opens. The I light run. shines run. from inside of the room. Celebsuni and Reddington are already there trying to like, trying to just really crappily like plunk out the melody backwards. <laughs> um, and you pull, uh, let's see. Kerr, 23 to hit. Uh, if, if it, even if, I guess restraining doesn't give him disadvantage. Uh, yeah, sure. That hits. Okay, you're a, uh, 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 one point of fluffy damage uh, as he bites you uh, across your face as he hears this song. Great bite! And I, I slip inside the door. The other sentinels uh, suddenly become confused, but they uh, start to lunge towards you. You are inside of the door. I, is I Nirk inside the door? 
Yeah, I ran in too, and uh, my familiar followed, and then I stopped playing it to, to close the door. Okay, good. Um, let's see. And uh, the room is pitch black. <laughs> so anybody with dark vision sees everything as if it's. Okay, black. for the record, I left that music box outside, so it's playing the happy music. So there. they like, yeah. <laughs> you can't hear anything from outside, but. No, but I did imagine. that. Yeah. Mm -hmm. All right, guys. Um, so inside this room, like I uh, described to Casey, there's a 15 foot square, 15 square foot square on the wall, <laughs> adjacent of the door. And then there's something that looks like a large table that's sort of embedded into right underneath it. And it has a lot of, uh, like a shelf. Square. Um, it's like a low table that's sort of at an angle. Uh oh, like a drafting a table, of, like a what drafting table drafting What's table that? you know like a an like an architect architect table it's yeah bent. yeah but, you know we're not architects but 15 <laughs> feet long i'm sorry you know i just went to prints are was that i don't know how to make that sorry okay go does on. it does it seem like these these gems would go into the square on the wall um they're embedded slightly oh they're embedded um, in the table that's right oh Okay. Can my familiar touch it and see what happens? Like... And if we, uh, <laughs> yeah, we should get a light okay, going. Well, I'll, I'll light some candles. Yeah. I have candles. Oh, yeah. I cast the uh, dancing lights. There okay. is tor torches. I'm is, sorry. I forgot. Is there any pattern to the colors? <laughs> uh, no, no pattern to the colors. Or not hmm. that whoever wrote this had thought out. Um, but <laughs> I do need uh, Nerg and. I need Nerg to make me a uh, either an investigation, an investigation, and then Kerr, you can make one at disadvantage. And you, uh, you each wow, have an extra really D four. Why do I have disadvantage? Because <laughs> said so. Cause we're rolling investigation. What? Uh, just Nerg and Kerr. Yeah, I rolled a seven. So. You should pay Regington to do it. He's a professional. Yeah. <laughs> yes. Well, it was I look bad. Over it. <laughs> um, Nerg, this looks like uh, this looks like this script looks semi-familiar. Oh, their script. Oh, yes. oh! I, I have, tell everybody there are words. I have the I have the <laughs> thing that lets me read any language. <laughs> okay. Cool. What's so funny, Simon? Yeah, what's, why are you laughing? What's the language? Yeah, what does it say? <laughs> Do you, do you get do you get to know what the language is? No, uh, yeah. I get to read, read it. it. I get to yeah. read any language. Is yeah. how it's worded. All right. <laughs> well, there's a bunch of uh, there's a bunch of these little squares have script on it. They don't look like anything you recognize, but you're able to yeah. understand it magically. That's how magic uh, works. Well, there's uh, <laughs> there's some buttons. Uh, this is terrible poem. Uh, one uh, says function, one says light, uh, one just says on. This is very bad poem. I, we should not pay any more attention to it. How many buttons are there? It says, these ones say function, this one say, I, I read them all out. It's function, <laughs> light, what else? Oh, push the light one? button. Light. I, I, it, I press, I touch. put my hand, I touch it, try to it's touch the square. Aziz, an... light. Aziz, light. No. Um, nothing <laughs> happens. The fifth element comes out. Um, Wait, love? Mm hmm. Love. Uh, you Can we see, push the on? You, oh, sorry. You, you see Kerr and Fluffy looking longingly at each other. <laughs> Is Fluffy still attacking Kerr? Mm, sorry, I beat you. No, it was it was wonderful bite. Thank you. Because Fluffy can't hear the, the music being played forward. We're like humming it to him now. <laughs> no, he's he's okay. The door is closed. He was our friend before. He, he's got it stuck in his head. <laughs> <laughs> the earworm, it's working. Um, uh -huh. Kurt, did you, you, wanna... you have earworms. We'll have to take you to vet after. Nerg, did you want to? Well, did we push the you? on button? She really wants to push it to see what happens. Uh, <laughs> you don't know which one the on. Do you tell her which one the on button is? Yes. Oh my goodness. Okay. Also, if it's just wait. So there are like twenty uh, buttons. 
There's a bunch of buttons. Yeah. I would have pushed. Them I'd like all, to count the buttons. Them. How many buttons are there? <laughs> An undecided amount. <laughs> <laughs> that many. I don't, I pushed the I don't on see button. anything. What? what did you? What did you? What? <laughs> what's going on? <laughs> Kara pushes the on. The dice have spoken. Kara pushes. That the, is um, a twenty-three to investigate the number of buttons. Okay. <laughs> you know. So which one is the hardest button to button? That many. Hella buttons. Boom. Um. Nerg presses the on button. The, I did it. I'm sorry. The room, uh, not just the room, but the entire, entire floor, everything around you starts to vibrate. It starts to hum. And the lights come on in this room. All of the oh. lights on the All of the table, lights. <laughs> under dun, 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 the jewels, dun, dun, dun. illuminate. Uh, the square in front of you uh, illuminates as if it were an illusion you were looking at. Um, the screen has just some very rudimentary circles in it. There is a large orange one in the center. Around it is another uh, sort of <laughs> spherical shape. Around oh, a little further oh. from that on the other side is a spherical shape. Oh, Nick Jr. We had this when I was a kid. <laughs> the... Uh, the third one is a kind of green blue spherical shape and it sort of continues out like that. Uh, but the screen? Well, you would know it as a screen, but I have to describe it in D D terms that your character No, I was trying to remember the host of Nick Jr. Oh Sticky. The stick? Who dated Sticky? Everyone's dated a sticky, right? Uh Brown Sounds like sticky. a personal problem, yeah. <laughs> like, if you haven't been your own sticky, <laughs> you are sticky. The entire room lights up. Um, Ooh, push the light button now. Does it turn off? Hey, you're sticky, you're so fun. No, no. Uh, you don't hey, sticky. really get the feeling anything <laughs> has happened. Sorry. This light button is broken. There's also an oh. open door button. Uh, also, uh, Diet Coke button. I click Diet Coke. Open door, huh? I didn't push it. But I'm like, hmm. Um, the Dairy Queen. Dairy Queen <laughs> ice cream comes out of a hole in the wall. <laughs> After I click the Diet Coke Is there Coke an exit button. door or just one door? Like, uh, now that the lights are on and stuff. Did you want to open the, uh, the, the door? Yeah, push the no, open door button. I was button. just wondering if there was, like, other stuff since the lights are on. So? You With press open door, okay. and the door on the other side of the room opens up. Oh. Uh, all of the sentinels are there. Uh, they Hello. are they are just um, chillaxing and uh, looking at you with sort of what looks like a dog smile. You know, like dog smiles. Oh, that cute one? Or the yeah. one where However, they want to rip your throat out. What <laughs> you notice is the cavern is completely lit up. Oh, I pushed the light button. Uh, it's off. Oh. Light button. Yep. It's on. a it's a rave. <laughs> Is there a windshield wiper button? Off, off, <laughs> off, on, off, on. Thanks. Okay. Okay. So, um, so the the entire uh, the entire cavern is is lit up. Uh, Kerr, what are some other buttons that that you can read yeah. here? This is fun. What, uh, what does this function <laughs> word mean? I don't know what function is. Should we try that one? Is there I, an ignition button? Is there an ignition button? Or any kind of fire-related button? There's a FN, Control, Option, Command. <laughs> is there, is there something a remix that we... to ignition button? <laughs> um, <laughs> there is... Uh, is there like an intercom or something? Let's see. Um, <laughs> Regington, you can help Kerr with an investigation check. What am I trying to investigate? You're trying to read, apparently. <laughs> I can read. What am I rolling for? No, Is it Skillshare.com? Twenty-two. <laughs> okay. Oh. I, I don't understand. So there, there's so many buttons, but we don't know what. 
<laughs> but you don't know what the words are on them? Only Curta. Wh so why do I <laughs> telling us? Yeah. <laughs> what, what, what am I rolling for? Um, <laughs> just, just to discern what the buttons mean. I, I mean, I could read them. Okay. That's an ability I have. Is that, is that on your character sheet? Yes. You can read. I can read any. I can read all writing. Okay, good. But he just doesn't know what language it's in. So, that yeah, it's fine. Um, well, there's a uh, there's a history button. There <laughs> is a. Uh, I am re I'm relaying all this to the team. History button right, history sounds button, good. The, there is a comms button. A uh, what? Obviously, comms. We don't know what that means. Oh, maybe it's like the communications or something. Okay. Is there an alt button? <laughs> alt. What about a backspace? Right. Yep. Yeah, right. Alt. Right next to. Mm -hmm. Let's try the history button. <laughs> I click the history button. Yeah, you click the history button. The lights in the room dim. Uh, what you see is. Let me get it up. Hold on. Uh oh. Is this gonna be like a PowerPoint presentation by Fluffy? How do I share screen? I'm like, what is this gonna entail? <laughs> Wait, don't, you're gonna share screen? No, no, no. Oh, God. <laughs> look at Casey. I can make it work, but it would take me no. a <laughs> Um, No, but uh, uh, a, a voice comes up. Let's see. Um, Kurt, do you understand all languages? I can only read all languages. Only read them, okay. The light's dim. Uh, <laughs> and uh, there is a uh, a presentation of this green blue sphere on the screen, uh, and you hear uh, everybody. Horrible. Everybody hears a a voice. It goes, I, I, I cast tongues so that I can understand all spoken languages. <laughs> Got him, Nerg. You also understand uh. the language. Oh. And really? I, I have just wasted all my spell slots today. <laughs> Didn't I like I used my fifth level spell to like cure somebody of some very minor mutation? Hey, what's the green thing saying? <laughs> yeah, you gave uh you gave uh Nanok normal size nipple back. That's right. Oh nipple, that's right. By the way, nipple back. Nipple back. <laughs> very popular elven band. Through a stand in the night. This um. is how. I remind me of how my nipples really are. <laughs> so, um, Salopsuni can understand this. Nerg, you also understand this. I'm assuming uh, we both translate to Rudgington and then, uh, her. Okay, and you can and put, <laughs> uh, you can put Chubbish on your known languages sheet. I can? Not you. <laughs> Eyeball. Writing down chubbish. I read it. Um, but you see this large globe, um, <laughs> and you hear a voiceover, and you'll translate. But it uh, just says, uh, "Many years ago, uh, our founders." Many years ago, had, our founders a new life, had new life for themselves, for themselves and their families. Blah 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 blah. Um, and you see these very large. Uh, let's see. They look like uh, remember uh, uh, uh what was it? Vi Violet Beauregard? Beauregard from that movie. Was that the one where she turned like blue and puffy? Yeah, Willy Wonka. Blueberry? Um, these beings look like that. A little more uh, alien, I would say. Um, but they said our founders, the Chubs, looking for a fresh start and life around the Earth, uh, around the galaxy, came uh, to this planet here. And it starts talking about how uh, they uh, seeded a colony. They had a slave race. They were called the Mohalar. And they look like the <laughs> moles who you encountered in the other cavern um, in order to make a more perfect union uh, but it goes on to describe how uh, they began terraforming this planet. Um, they built structures. Uh, and with the help of the Mohalar, uh, built structures uh, under the Earth where they were comfortable. 
in addition, the native species who were already inhabiting this area, uh, they gave them a genetic boost uh, with varying degrees of uh, success and outcome. Uh, some of them became what you would know as humans. Some of them became what you would know as elves and goliaths. And uh, with... Uh, Wait, so this recording knows what we know about elves and goliaths? Like what? I mean, the, any... oh, the recording says elves and goliaths? No, no, it's what you would understand as... They, they just show uh, beings of varying uh, outcome. And then there would be a human and then one with pointy ears and a snotty attitude. That's an elf. That's the... Um, <laughs> and with uh, even more... Uh, even more genetic tinkering the uh kobolds were another uh race um the uh recording continues um explaining how uh due to catastrophic weather uh the environment became uh, uninhabitable for the chubs so the chub people um they uh also had a skirmish, sort of a war with the Mohalar. Uh, but after that, uh, they decided it best uh, to leave the planet as it was and to return home. Uh, and what you see is just a, a, a sort of crude, you know, like 90s era uh, kind of rocket ship leading up from this big green and blue sphere. Uh, up to another point on the map that you saw earlier. So they're like the Anunnaki or something. <clears throat> <laughs> um, I, I translate all of what the green thing said to everybody. I didn't understand it. This is very boring story. <laughs> Agreed. Is there is there a button to turn off the sentinels or make them friendly or anything like that? Yeah, like uh, a uh, is move there a, button. Is there a sentinel make friendly button? Uh, there's a cont button. C O N T. I press the I press the cont button. Okay. C O N T was that? <laughs> and uh, from See outside the door, uh, <laughs> you hear uh, very faintly. You hear, um, although in a an oddly different tenor uh, and sort of instrument. Then before uh, you hear you hear that melody being played throughout throughout wow. the city. Mm. The happy one, right? Not the backwards. The happy version. one. Okay. Right. And the door is still open. Okay, okay. I was gonna add. <laughs> what does "cont" wow. mean? I don't understand. Continue. Con control. Control. Con. Manual. Fluffy, this room is boring. Continual. Why were you protecting it? Let's try okay. pushing all the buttons. <laughs> hands on it and you just like a soda machine uh -huh. um okay uh you, fluffy why do you care about this room <laughs> and then uh something pops up on the screen um imminent planet destruction in pen nine what's a planet eight. i'm i'm just kidding that that didn't happen <laughs> <laughs> i just love when they had like a button to blow up a planet i should be hey you high. never know <laughs> um, I have thaumaturgy. No. We all look at fluffy guys. We're gonna have to fly into the venting system and blow up this up. <laughs> Good. And then uh, lastly, there is the comms button. We we pre I press it. I press comms. Okay. Uh, from all right from comms comms. Huh? Uh, you suddenly the 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 image changes on the screen and oh. it is somewhat like the room that you're in, but much bigger. Um, it, it, there is red lighting, uh, there are various wires and, um, sparks coming out of the wall, uh, and from there, you just see peek up, uh, just from the eyes up, something that looks like a Mohalar. I reach out to touch it to see if it's real. I forget, I forget your name, are you Cabbage? <laughs> Um, and uh, Nerg and Celebsuni would uh, be the only ones to understand uh, this language. 
Is it real or does like my arm go go through it? <laughs> it's real. Oh, okay. I, I didn't know. You, you just like <laughs> you stick your hand. A hologram it, or something. You <laughs> stick your hand on his face to see if he's yeah, real. Like... <laughs> it says, "Ow." Well, then I, I pull my my arm oh, stop back. That. Um. Good. So you said okay. he said. I kind of go up closer to to look at it. He's speaking. Yeah, I, I, you I'm said. in disbelief. Yeah. Um. <laughs> Talk amongst yourselves for two seconds. I just need to look something up. I telepathically message everybody, like, doesn't this thing look familiar? Yeah. And I, I'm, like, looking at it really close. I, I agree I'm with confused. Kurt. It, it's clearly cabbage. Cabbage, come here. Cabbage. <laughs> come here, cabbage. Do you think, come here. Do you think we should dis dispel magic on this whole thing? Or on the, the button? Or on the whole cabbage? Time that this was here. <laughs> Hmm. Seemed like they could have done us all a solid and solved this. But Wait, did you just dig in here? Just you just dig in here without solving any of the puzzles? Sorry, it's on the screen. It's on the Yeah, we understand. Oh. Yeah, okay, fine. Oh, I thought the, I thought the mole dug into the room. Oh no, he's on the screen, although our characters okay. of course would not be super familiar with screens. Screen. Cabbage! So is this like Willy Wonka when you can like grab the candy bar from the TV screen and like eat it type of thing or like like Mike TV green yeah and uh this thing looks at you it's a mohalar it says who are you be quiet sorry what don't speak too loud shh don't be quiet like you can't ask us a question and then tell us not to talk yeah that's like you had an eight I need you to like a two don't you have a volume control over there oh hold on <laughs> oh, <laughs> Uh, are you caption? Are you cabbage? Better. Can you turn the music down a little bit? Um, Wait, I can. Oh, no. It could be hazardous okay. to our health. Uh, are you cabbage? Do you know cabbage? No, no. My name is Faber. 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 Like like the bean or Bobber? the egg? Like like like, <clears throat> like, like, mo like mother, but the boy version. <laughs> like boy mother. Faber. <laughs> boy mom. <laughs> Tell your fids not to fuck my face. <laughs> what did you just say, Kevin? <laughs> you heard him. <laughs> <laughs> That's just what happens when you take the song Mother, but you change, your you change every word to start with it. Right, you just have to enunciate one of them carefully. <laughs> Anyways. What, fuck? Yeah. Who are you? Where are you? Who are, uh, who are you? Father. <laughs> okay, father. Are you I, Nerd's I don't know so what intrigued a, by this screen. I don't know Sorry. what a planet is. Where are you? We're we're under Aliador, kind of. The hex. And he goes and he starts. You hear tapping, and he looks. He looks around from the uh, from your view, and he says, uh, oh. "You are planet side." No, no, I'm I'm uh, Celeb Sunni. You are in the old. You are in the old city. No. Uh. Oh yes. I. I guess. Suppose we are. He says. Uh, I see energy emanating from your side. Please tell me, are the Mohalar alive? Oh, you. You can see energy too. Yes, I. I can detect magic. <laughs> uh, yes. Uh, well, magic. some of them. Um. Some of the fluffies killed some of them but we've we've got them mostly under Kant now what are the fluffies uh, and he looks and he see, he looks behind you and he ducks again he says beware sentinels behind you yes he's yes, i hold up i hold up fluffy <laughs> yes we have <are>, this <laughs> is fluffy say hello i i take fluffy's fine wave it's no yes, do you, do you have some uh, wherever you are then it has killed my family. What did your family do to Fluffy? Have you tried painting them pink? <laughs> How are you able? <laughs> and, he's, and he pauses and he says, uh, You resident. I, I, am, I look around. I am, re I am resident of this planet, yes. Yeah. yes. Have, you found, have you found the key? Um, well, We're still just looking it's, around. It's actually very easy. It's it says Kant. You push the Kant key, and <laughs> then the music plays. Piece of cake. 
And then I point to the on button uh, that, if, that opened and closed the If door. you point your camera down, uh, we can try and find it for you if you don't read. My friend, you have to be you have to be more specific and less cryptic if you want us to have any sort of chance of communicating. Like this. <laughs> and the screen goes out and he says, Wait, can you still hear me? Sorry, I can't Yes. Oh. Okay. Sorry. Can I'm, new, I'm new to this. <laughs> You're um, new to talking. But you have, <laughs> are are but you three? You have the sentinels under control. Yes, just push the cont button. Right, right next to you. I can almost see it there in the corner. The the mo the mohal are, are alive. Um, hard to say. Who cabbage? They're still speaking in chub. Uh, they're speaking in it's it's a it's a mole person like you saw in the other. Oh, okay. Room, but, in the other room. but I think chubbish. I think Nirg and I are trying to translate. Yeah, I'm translating because I realize I can't talk to him through the screen because I don't think I can <laughs> like telepathically message him. So I, I was just translate to Regington. Luckily, tongues lets me be yeah. understood by anyone who speaks <laughs> a language. Um, you must get my people back. Where are you? And he, uh, this the screen returns, and where the uh, green and blue sphere is, third one from the big orange one in the middle, uh, there is a blinking. And there is a perforated dot that leads up, and he says, "We are here." Do you, Do you have a name for where you are? Because here doesn't actually tell me very much. Our ship. Mm. Our ship. Um, we are above your sky. I look there up. There is ocean. There is ocean up there. What? This makes no sense. Uh, you see, sky is. Sky right is, right is now. this sky sky is blue? I know it sounds crazy. Yes. I know. We, we might, uh, near, we, I think we might need to use skywriting soon. This is a great mm -hmm, idea. Mm -hmm. I, I'm so happy I took that spell. <laughs> so, Sumi, um, how many more times can you do sending today? Maybe my, oh, I'm sorry. I think, uh, after that tongues, I can do it, like, two more times. Oh, I guess if I use higher level spots four more times. Can you send to the, the leader of the, the Mohar that we, that we met and, um, Tell him that the the sentinels are pacified and to come here and yes, um, okay, um, father, I'm about to send a message to you <laughs> to your your mole men here. Uh, anything I should say to them? Uh, uh, <clears throat> tell them with the excuse me. Uh -oh. Excuse me. All right. He, it's it's I think a hard he died. voice. I don't know. <laughs> uh. Um uh with the, he says with the key in possession. Uh please come back up. Uh your door is obstructed by their salt liquid. Where is the key? Do, I I asked do you, oh, do you mean the ocean? Me. Down here, we just call it the ocean. Okay. Do you have any salt liquid? What is, what, <laughs> what, are you? It's in the blue. I assume that he means the ocean, you know, the salt water. I think we understand yeah, but that concept. What, yes, but what did he call it salt liquid? He must mean something else. Yes. Do you mean my tears? Ew. No. Did no, you make no. Salpsuni cry? <laughs> and he's like, Jesus, I can't. Can and we... I don't know why he said Jesus. But uh, he he closes Who is this in. Jesus? Your screen closes in on on uh, and what kind of looks like the outline map of Aliador uh, is the blue and there's a big blinking in it. Um, somebody make me a reaction perception check, please. A reaction. <laughs> Twenty one. Oh nice. Yeah. Okay. All right, uh, Celebsuni, What you see is on the west coast of Elpris is a large uh, structure that you recognize from no known map that is mm -hmm. on the side of the west coast. That's all I'm going to say. That's off to the west where we're not allowed to go on the map. <laughs> okay. I decided. Just for okay. I will cast sending to Cabbage, the leader of the Molinar, and tell him, okay, 25 words, right? We've pacified the sentinels and are speaking to father a cabbage oh. mole man 
on a ship. He says, come here. There's a key in the salt water. <laughs> no, it's blocked. I don't know. Just come and talk to him. You can reply to this message. Okay. Standard messaging rates apply. Okay. And uh, does anybody remember the voice I did for him? Good, me neither. Hello! Hello my name is Cabbage! Sure! Hey. <laughs> oh. Oh, well, Cabbage wasn't even... the leader of the mole man. Cabbage was the mole man that we abducted to learn the ways of society. Oh, well, I sent it to the leader then. I don't know his name. <laughs> I just called Every... him Cabbage. They all look the Neither same. Do I. Every NPC that we uh, that we meet is Cabbage. <laughs> I don't remember my name. Did we tell him that his warranty was about to expire and he needs to renew it very soon? Oh, no. Very <laughs> Which button do I push? Um... But he, yeah, uh, the the leader of the mole the mole people. Uh, I'll find it. Oh, damn note keeping. Uh, um, but he gets back. Um, he says, uh, "We hear the key." He says, "We hear, <laughs> we hear the key." Um, uh, the our scouts say sentinels subdued. On our way, BRB. You still got like ten more words. Yeah. So they anything? say BRB. Spaghetti, 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 spaghetti. Yeah. Need anything from the store? Question mark. I can't reply to him. <laughs> Jesus, this is the first time he's ever texted. Use hey, send him soon. Use another use another set, sending spell. Tell them I need I need some uh, Coke Zero. Oh, I I can just <laughs> create that. I think with my create water spell. There's a Diet Coke button. <laughs> yes, also, maybe the Diet Coke button works now. Uh -huh. I pressed the Diet Coke button again. It's, it's Diet Coke. Okay. Uh -huh. <laughs> I washed my hands with it. Um. So, uh, f Faber, or whatever, uh, do you have, do you have uh, Sentinels up there? Yes. I don't know if you can see, but this room is so fucked up. Um, they, they've gravely injured me. They are hunting us on the ship. Okay. But we know where to hide, and some of my people have sectioned ourselves off in this front area. And do I just just play them songs. Yeah, do you do you have a cont button? <laughs> my friend, do you hear this song? Yeah, turn <gasps> turn up the volume. Uh, do you hear it in the background? My, yeah. Hold on. And his screen goes off. He's like, Wait, can you hear me? Wait, can you still hear me? I think I pushed hold on. Okay. Oh, you're back. Mm -hmm. All right. And he he turns the volume up. And we bring the uh, the box that Nier made over to the. Closer yeah, to it the... lasts probably it lasts four hours. So okay, I can all just right. make it again. Yeah. Uh, and we all start singing it really loudly too. Yeah. What are the words? Oh. What if life is of the air? Of the... Oh. I don't know. Uh, he says, "What what should happen? Uh, if they, this is why we, this is why we came here. We don't know what happens next. This is why you what? came where? <laughs> and then it goes back to the planetary screen again, and it shows way, way far away, little perforated dot leading all the way to the center of a galaxy, and then to this little blue and green dot." Where the founders came. Oh. My people are enslaved. And he's, he goes into how the, the Chubbs have enslaved the Mohalar people in their home. And they were a renegade sect, revolutionary renegade sect, who stole, we stole the ship. And it was automatically en route to your home and automatically en route to your home. Uh, but he says there was a mishap with the, uh, he says there was a mishap with the, um, the what do you call it? With Mr. Oh. Hap. With cabbage? Sorry if we damaged your planet, my bad. It, it all happened very fast. Um, uh, but he's, yeah. Have you ever seen uh, <coughs> anything, the color of this stone or this sword? Do you know anything about this? 
Are you pointing at like Regington's forehead? Yeah. Or... <laughs> do you pick? Do you pick I, Regington's stone I up, up by the forehead? <laughs> over it. Over it. I pick up Regington by the head and hold it up like this. Like this. <laughs> okay. That's gonna be an attack. <laughs> Say, so put uh, me down. I, I, I put you, I put Reddington down. He's a king now. Oh. So no, you don't. And then I <laughs> trip her. That is, um, that is a twenty-one to trip her. Uh, I fall on top of Reddington. Sword first. And then I point at the sword. So, so, so you don't know anything about these, um, these two. <laughs> no, I'm afraid I don't know. But the, 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 what about uh, dragons? Do you know anything about dragons? <laughs> and he goes and he, he types it in, uh, and he says, uh, "Oh, is there a dragon button?" <laughs> yes, yes, the dragon button. Let's push the dragon <laughs> button. It's, it's right below F three. That's where you want if you can see. Uh, uh, and he, he says that uh, deeper in the history logs, uh, it appears as though the founders, uh, the founders uh, genetically engineered protectorates of their realm and planet, uh, but they were so unruly uh, that they discontinued the experimentation. But that is what you would call a dragon. And these founders, oh. what do they look like? You said they're different than the residents, or they are the oh, residents? Yeah. yeah, and they're like big, puffy humanoids, but big, big, round, puffy faces, and they're blue. Uh, and they look like Prometheus. Smart. Their 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 clothes are like you know, <laughs> dapper, trendy Smurfs. On flea. Was Doryu blue? <laughs> hmm. No. no was was Doryu blue? No. Okay. No. Hmm. We'll ask him. So we'll ask this guy if he knows about mummies. <laughs> Mummy uh, Father, do you know about mummies? I don't. I mean, mm, no. Looks it doesn't ring a bell. What about daddies? <laughs> uh, so, <laughs> Father, tell me more about this key. So there's it, there's a blocked door, and if we unblock it, then you can come down and we can go up. Is that how this works? Some sort of Magical teleportation device? Y yes. Very good. Um, yeah, and he explains that uh, the it's it's sort of a uh, <clears throat> a a tr 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 transient transient. Help me out here, guys. Transient trans. Conduit. Conduit. <laughs> I was way off. There's a conduit. Yes, a conduit. Um, that is what uh, their people came to what he calls planet side to look um, to look for the key. Uh, but there was a mishap and it blasted through Aliador creating the hex and it is the right now in hex. under the salt liquid and it will not function correctly until it is out. Can you show us a picture of the key so we can use like locate object? <laughs> the key is the song you play. Oh. Uh, have you tried casting? Oh, oh, sorry. That the other, the, the other key that's under the water. That one. Yeah. Can oh. you like show us a picture or something? <laughs> and he shows you a picture, and it it is a very large cylindrical object with uh, very intricate designs, and it looks completely foreign from anything you've ever seen. It has those jewels encrusted on it that light up and so the like. completely foreign from anything we've seen other than this thing that we're standing in right now that's yeah <laughs> right uh have you tried casting mending on it because that does the trick a lot of the time <clears throat> no what is it no I i'll i'll try no, it for I... you we <laughs> did we didn't pick that country <laughs> i can't get that to level 10. i, I thought mage hand would be funnier <laughs> Okay, well, we're just going to camp here until the Molinar show up. Um, if you want to bring all your people into that room up there, we can try and play the music over the speaker. I mean, the thing that you're speaking through, which I now am going to call the speaker. And I drew a picture of the key, so I'd have that for uh, later. Yeah. And also, if you have any musical instruments, maybe we could even teach you this magical song. 
Ooh. Um, <laughs> and he says, maybe one of the other residents on the ship might know how. Oh, you have residents also, not just uh, the the hideous mole people. They are wherever they go. Well, uh, oh, isn't everybody? <laughs> <laughs> This is tautology, my friend. And uh, he looks alarmed at something and he says, Are you expecting a very large object coming at you very fast? Uh, we already picked up the, he, the armor, if that's what you're asking about. He, f he flips the screen and it looks like the map of Aliador. <clears throat> And it's the map of Valyador, and uh, there is a, a a very large object coming towards that from the north. Right now? <laughs> it, does it look elvish? Uh, he says he can't. He's unable to get a... The elves are to the north, right? The elves are to the north. It's uh, probably elvish. Uh, I'll, I'm going to cast what, it, Stop Large Object. Mm-hmm. <laughs> okay. That's the holy material. Um, it's actually coming from northwest. To be more precise. Northwest. Okay. What the mm. pickle? Pickle <laughs> Who else could throw such a big thing so far? Mm. Is there a button to stop it? Maybe. No, but he says it's showing oh. up on our on our radar. So we should probably yeah. like go outside, listen, right? Listen, Father, we can sit here and make up words all day long. Just tell us what's going on. <laughs> you know that dragon you were talking about? Yes, we killed a couple of dragons. Oh, oh, big talk! Wow, killed a couple of dragons. Cool. Yes, we have uh, some teeth. We have some blood. A couple oh. of cloaks. Yes, do you have any blood? And uh, he says it'll uh, it'll it'll be there by nightfall. Oh, it's moving very slowly then. <laughs> Unfortunate wording, my friend. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I don't know about speed and physics. Uh, um, can you ask it to... how to stop it? Uh, he says he can't do anything from where he is. His systems are damaged. <gasps> well, I mean, like, can he tell us how? Yeah. Uh, he says he can't even. Oh. No. All right, we'll we kill it. We'll go kill the dragon. Um, <laughs> the, the, the the terrestrial mole men will be here soon, and uh, we can hash this all out. Okay, sounds good. And I tell him we'll cast a message in the sky so he can try and find where we are later. <laughs> yeah. Yes, writing in the sky. Yes, I bet you don't have that technology for all your what? radar. Please. What time of day is it now? Yeah. Uh, it, is, it It is about, yeah, like midday. Oh, great. Let's take a sleep. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's safe now. You can totally sleep. It is. I suppose is we can close the door. We, we push the door button before we sleep. Uh, good. <laughs> yeah. But uh, I think that's where we're going to end off for today's episode. So are we going to be level 20. 20 next week? <laughs> I'm like... I really, I really want to. I really, really want to. The best I can do is you are all level 15. I knew it. 15? <laughs> yeah. yeah. How many spells? This thing in the do? sky must be huge. I'm like, <laughs> wow. Ooh, I get to pick the good, the 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 highest level incantations now. Oh, I have to go pick more spells. Wow! Roll a bunch of <laughs> dice. Can you take Sky right twice? <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> just, just write "Go away, dragon in the sky." <laughs> wow, I just rolled horrible for hit points. In three levels. Oh my god! I got a total of eight. Oh, I'm gonna, you I'm you gonna take you up. take average. Oh, yeah, yeah. I rolled. I rolled the average three times. That's kind of funny, actually. I also <laughs> rolled uh, a total of eight. Well, they're good at calculating the average, then. Yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> All 
amazing work all right so you figured out these refugees on your planet is what you call it uh, it's not clear our characters really figured it out no How we're just following up the guy on the screen said <laughs> flather <laughs> how do your uh, characters feel about everything that's happened nerg's really intrigued with this screen she's like she's never seen this just like real life Her yeah <laughs> Her doesn't give a fuck about anything. He has fluffy. He's he's good. <laughs> he's he's just along for the ride at this point. Well, get that level fifteen. You earned it. Yeah, I think Regington is kind of uh, a little nihilist right now, um, and <laughs> wants to go kill the dragon because he figures it's either his brother or Doryu or some combination. Both. Well, yeah. Another experiment. <laughs> well, good job. <clears throat> Thank you to Gamescape, our sponsor. Go to gamescapesf.com. Buy stuff. Or even the all. store now, I guess. Wow. You can go inside and buy stuff. And go to skillshare.com to figure out how, how to buy stuff. I haven't been out of the house in about a year. Um, I imagine this Gamescape has just devolved into complete anarchy um language has broken down it's just uh the, the employees Been overtaken jumping on uh, <laughs> on tables just throwing throwing dice at each other like lord of the flies they should still Gamescape go there version and then thank you sirenscape <laughs> yeah all the scapes uh for allowing us to use your technology for our music original music by the greasy weasels and thanks to everyone who tuned in Yay. yeah thank you everybody Next week will be the last episode. Unless, of course, we swing by and talk to my father for a while and, you know, go over and hang out with Chief Dean. And, and visit the necromancy village. Mm, oh, yes. <laughs> yeah, Regington really wants that magical tattoo. Mm -hmm. And a tattoo and, artist. And then you got to cure everybody of, the, uh, of, of their freakish attributes. That will take a while. A yeah. lot of diamonds. Little, oh, yeah, I bet they have like literally third arms growing from their bellies and stuff. Oh, I wonder what the world's yeah. going to look I forgot about that. Oh, anyway. Whoa. Good night, everyone. Good, Good night. night. Bye. Bye.